Hello everyone and welcome back to Four Teachers. <laughs> okay, so today's video, we're gonna be trying to calm your nerves, ease your anxiety, because we are talking about your first day back at teaching. We have been asking around on social media a lot recently about how your first day of teaching went, how you felt, the words anxious, nervous, excited, seem to be thrown around quite a lot. Yeah. So as part of our series all about your first day of teaching, we thought we would offer some testimonials from other teachers uh, explaining how they felt on their first day of teaching and maybe share our own stories just to kind of help you calm your nerves, mm -hmm. get you ready for that first day of teaching and just let you know that other school teachers have felt maybe the same way that you feel right now. As part of this series, please also check out our first day of teaching tips video. We've linked it down below and you can watch it. We give you kind of an idea of all different activities that you can use and lessons that you can try on that first day too. Awesome. So uh, I think we'll start off with Katie. Katie, can you remember your first day at teaching? Yeah, I can remember my first day of teaching. I just remember feeling very nervous, very anxious. Mm -hmm. um, I remember time management was a huge issue because yeah. I had a lot of lessons planned that I thought in my head would last uh, like a whole hour then they'd be over in 15 minutes. The children were sat there like completely done. I remember being really nervous about that. So I had like, I did have backup stuff planned, but I really wish I had a bit more because yeah. sometimes you just don't know how long these activities are going to last. And time management is a skill that I think it takes like a whole first year to sort of start to wrap your head around. So not knowing that it was okay to say, just get your book out and sit for a minute. Yeah, I think a lot of transition activities or get to know your activities can be quite similar. Yeah. So I think it's a lot easier in hindsight to kind of have a project or something to work yeah. on so you can kind of dip in and out of it. So you've got something in the background to keep working on when you're uh, between tasks. Did you do lessons on your first day? Yeah, I did lessons, um, but I did a lot of transition activities because that's what I've been recommended. And actually in hindsight, I wish I'd done like a proper maths lesson and a proper mm. English lesson, just because routine is really good to sort of get in the early stages with children. I think one thing that keeps coming up in the comments is a lot of people, and I was the same, you start to think, should I be planning an English lesson? And yeah. But I don't have the planning format and I'm used to planning this way and maybe I don't know the scheme of work for maths. So I think often you have a lot of those questions mm -hmm. and it can be quite hard over the summer where you think, I've got a lot of free time on my hands, it's my last summer so I want to enjoy it before I start my teaching career. Yeah. But also, should I be spending some of this time getting ahead and doing some maths yeah. plans? So maybe if you can, I would try and email your, uh, er, your manager, your line manager or the other teacher that you're working with and just say like, are we all set for after half time? Like, is there anything I can do to help? Yep. So Ryan, can you tell me anything? Now Ryan doesn't have the best memory. <laughs> Ryan sort of forgets things quite easily, but what can you remember about that first day of teaching? Is there anything that stands out? How did you feel going into yeah. the classroom? Oh, so I remember I'd already met my class because I worked with them in the previous term as their teaching assistant. Mm -hmm. So I already knew all the names and I knew a lot of the characters and I knew who was going to be in my class. So I had that as a benefit really. Mm -hmm. uh, going in, I don't remember so much what we did, but I remember kind of the feelings the night before. I think every Everybody, this is natural to feel nervous, yeah. to feel anxious, and to feel that, right, this is it kind of now, that I'm, yeah. I'm on this ride of teaching <laughs> until summer, and you kind of feel like it is a bit of a roller coaster journey, yeah. but there is no getting off, despite what your friends might say, wow, you're always on holiday. Yeah, it's you feel like, different. actually, when you are teaching, you are always on. You're always kind of in that teacher mode, so it's yeah. kind of hard to switch off. So I think for me, part of the anxiety is kind of feeling wow, I'm in it now and I can't switch it off. This, this is, is it. kind of my profession, yeah. yeah. Okay, so what we did next is we have asked some of our friends who are also teacher YouTubers to give us some testimonials. We've also been talking to some of you guys on Instagram and you've sent us a little bit about what you can remember about your first day. So we're just going to read some of these out now, Yay. see if we can relate to them in any way, yeah. see if maybe some of the people watching this video can relate and see if that will help you to feel a little bit better about that first day. The first one I've been sent is from uh, a girl that I speak to called Jen and she is on Instagram as Good Morning Miss Foster. I'll link her down below and she has sent me her first day testimonial. She told me, I planned a million things. Yeah. I didn't understand how I would fit it in, what would go first, how long activities would take, whether they would even like them. The smallest things are confusing, like where you go and pick up the kids and it stressed me out. Yeah. I hated not knowing the routines. My kids were London year fours and were so much quieter than I anticipated. I also felt like they had way more energy, that she had way more energy than they did. But ultimately, I was like, well, I can do this. They responded to me, did the work, enjoyed it. So by the end of the day, I was feeling really confident. Oh, that's really nice. I think it's nice to feel like that. I had a nice turnaround at the end. Yeah. <laughs> One thing that came up in that was kind of that idea that 
you want to do lots and you want to plan lots. Put loads in. But you're in the, in the back of your mind, you don't know how it's going to fit in. You don't know whether your class is suddenly going to have a, a school assembly on the first day yeah, or so perhaps many... they're going to have a PE lesson that you didn't know about or something. And it can be quite hard to think, actually, I don't really know the timetable or the school yeah. structures that well. Yeah. All those are things that you will have questions for. And they just come in time, I think. You yeah, can't you really get them learn. all in the first day. Mm. It was going to be two or three weeks before you understand the schedule of your school or the routines mm -hmm. or where to pick your kids up from playtime. Or do they come into the class on the first day? I think that testimonial has so jogged my memory now. Mm. Also, something that I took from that testimonial is sometimes, and this has happened to me, I'm going to say uh, two out of five times, I've gone in on the first day and I've expected the class to be really noisy, mm. but they've actually been really quiet. And then that can throw you as well as a teacher because you've expected that there's going to be like the need for lots of behaviour management and the need for lots of control. But actually you look down at the children, they're all like asleep or quiet and nervous themselves because they're just as nervous as you probably. And I've had moments where I'm like more sprightly than the children. I'm like trying to wake them up. I remember that was really strange because I was like, are they going to be quiet all year? And of course they're not because after a week they wake up. <laughs> um, but that was a strange feeling for me. So I can relate to that maybe two out of five times. So be prepared. They might actually be really quiet on the first day and they might not say much. I think for me as well, I like to get my kids like trained up with all these routines that I like to do and build on year on year mm -hmm. so for me I'm very much like I want to do this and I want to teach them how to sit nice in their chair and I want to <laughs> teach them how to underline their work nicely and things like this and it's like for me I just have to relax and just think it's only day one, only day one. it's gonna come in the next few weeks yeah there's plenty of time plenty of time the second one that's been sent to me is from a YouTube channel called Kafopal Land um, I've been speaking to her on Instagram and she has given me her own testimonial short but sweet she told me I was so excited, I remember feeling quite exhilarated driving to school on the first day. It was everything I dreamed it would be. Not perfect, but great. I loved it. And I think what I'm taking from that is, you don't need to expect perfection on the first day. Mm -hmm. She was anticipating that it wouldn't be completely perfect. So because she'd already put that idea in her head, she knew that it, as long as it, as long as you got through the day and it was okay, that's a huge success, I think, yeah. in teaching. I, I like the idea of just driving into work because we never drove. No. But what? I really think we always do a trial run, or I do anyway. I used to, yeah. So do a little trial run, make sure you've timed it, and make sure you've not just timed it on like a quiet Sunday morning, time yeah. it on a weekday where you know the traffic's going to be busy or it's going to be more realistic. So make sure you're in early and on, on time. Yes, least. don't, for goodness sake, be late on that first day. You want to be so early on that first day that you've got extra time just to go over it in your head. You won't have to do it every day. Yeah, just there'll really... be people to say hello to, there'll yeah. be um, your teammates, your co-workers that you yeah. want to say hi to and just check in with everyone. So give yourself enough time on that first day. Definitely. Get a good night's sleep. Yes, oh yeah, of course. But also another thing is you might not sleep very well on that yeah. first night. Don't worry, like don't even stress out about not sleeping. I used to stress out and worry and keep checking my phone like, oh no, now even if I fell asleep, I would only get five hours. I used mm. to work out the amount of hours that I would get. Don't worry, your adrenaline will get you through the first day anyway, I think. And if you can't sleep because your mind's thinking about teaching so much, that's fine. There's like a thousand other teachers nearby you all thinking the same thing and hardly sleeping that night. So don't worry, try, go to bed early. If you can't sleep, just relax, read a book. But I used to stress so much about not getting any sleep, but actually, I was so nervous anyway that I wasn't going to. Yeah, my top tip is always like the first weekend before you go back into teaching, I always start getting up super early, like 5 a.m. So I set my alarm early so that I'm in that zone. So if you've been in holiday mode for the last six weeks <laughs> and you've been having lion, lions and enjoying your summer, <laughs> then I think like the last weekend's when you've got to start getting up early. So just so it's not a big shock when you come up six o'clock the first day. Maybe earlier. Yeah, I was always super early. Okay, next one I got is from um, an Instagram that I follow. It's Mr. L underscore classroom, link down below. He's a year four teacher and the testimonial that he has given me. I really like it, it's like a little story. Go on then. Okay, first day was a crazy day full of emotions. Oh. I remember how well I was prepared for my first lessons. I thought it was an awesome plan. I ticked all the boxes. I had all these interesting discussion topics. I was full of energy and pumped. Night before I slept really well, got to school early. I walked into the classroom eagerly away my kids and as soon as I heard voices I panicked. Aww. I literally ran into the storeroom and hid like a wuss. <laughs> but once the bell rang I opened the door and the very first child who came up to me said, Mr Landers I brought a present for you, a box Aww. of chocolates. I couldn't stop smiling because I was new to the school, heaps of the parents came up and wanted to welcome me. 
and the kids were great. Oh, that's really sweet. Isn't that's that really lovely? nice. Yeah. I think that's in interesting though that like you can be as planned as you want. Yeah. But then suddenly panic might just hit you and you might just be like, oh, I'm really scared right now. Yep. But I think that's kind of the adrenaline that mm. kicks in. And then once you meet the kids, it's kind of like you have to just roll with it. You have to. There's actually no escape once it starts. Um, you will just find you adapt somehow. Somehow you make the most of it. The children don't know how you're feeling. Like. Mm. They, they're probably less aware of it than you are. I've had panic moments where I've had to kind of pop my head out the door and be like, please can you come and stand in with me for a minute? It's like a phase leader and I've kind of asked for backup and just had someone there with me for a minute because I just needed five minutes just to get my head straight. There might be panic moments. I'm not necessarily going to say you'll end up hiding in the storeroom, but it's clearly <laughs> turned into a lovely ending for this teacher anyway. But there will be moments of panic and there will be moments where it's scary, but also it will be so exciting. It's such a lovely day, I hope. I think for me as well, I think on that first day, don't be afraid to just say I don't know to kids. Mm. The kids might be like, when's our swimming lesson and what day's assembly and why haven't we gone to assembly when everyone else has walked down to assembly and just go, oh, I didn't know the routines, like, yeah. come on then, let's get going. And the number of times I still do it now, it's like, Right, I know I've just had it out all the maths books, but put your pencils down, leave everything where they are, we're Quick, doing we're the assembly right now. So I think it's just about always been prepared and don't be embarrassed in front of the kids to say, I didn't know, I forgot, mm. silly me, let's get going. I used so to I panic about that. The time. You're right, I used to panic if I didn't know the routines and the children yeah. knew it better than me. They'd be like, Miss, we should have gone to like our music lesson. Sorry, we just had to swap over and get a new memory card, so hopefully we're back where we were. <laughs> I have no idea what we were saying. Yep, so we're on number four. Like, let's look at the next testimonial. Right, so number four is from a YouTube channel that I follow called Glitter and Jams. I was also terrified when I realised that it was all on me to teach and care for these tiny humans each day. <laughs> I'm beginning year 11 and still feel the enormous weight of, the res of this responsibility, but I love my job and the kids, so it's all worth it. So like still being nervous however many years later, I guess. Yeah. And I think that word responsibility is key because you do have a responsibility to be the adult in the classroom. You can't just be scared, timid yeah. and shy throughout your day. You're going to have to uh, bite the bullet at some point and go for it. So yeah. you want to be a great role model for them as well. So nerves are fine. Don't be uh, embarrassed about sharing your nerves with the kids and they'd probably appreciate it. If, I think if you can own up to it and say, I'm really nervous today, yeah. but I'm so happy to meet you all. They'll just appreciate that so yeah. much more. Oh, definitely. You can say to the children, like, oh, like, who, who else is feeling a bit nervous on this first day? Because I am too. Don't worry. Like, it's strange for me to meet you guys as well. Imagine how it feels uh, sitting in front of 30 new, like, children. Like, it's scary for teachers as well, but we're going to have a lovely year together. I think I'm really honest like that these yeah. days. My kids love any personable story. If you say, you're not the only one who's forgot something. Oh my gosh, today I lost my car keys or I forgot yeah. to get my train ticket and I had to run back to my house. They just lap it up and they think, oh, you're just like me. Oh, we always forget I things. I really like that. Yeah, it's cute. Um, and then we have got, well, I, I had one more, but my phone has just buzzed. I think one more has popped through, so maybe we'll sneak one more in. Hey. Okay, the next one is from a YouTube channel that I follow again called Senor Spanish Spot. And I'm probably not saying that in a very good Spanish accent. <laughs> uh, I've just been to Spain. I've just been to Spain. You should have picked it up. No. I'll try and, uh, no I won't. <laughs> um, anyway, he's just sent it through for me and it says, I quite like this story. Okay, I've not heard this one. Right, he told me, I tripped, not on purpose, in front of my first class on the first day of my first year teaching. It was actually a great way to lighten the mood and break the ice. My first day ended up going quite smoothly. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I think that's it. I think how you handle these embarrassing situations is like key to how it works. Yeah. I mean, you have no idea what's going to happen when you first walk. And I think probably one of the most common problems is you say something like, oh, now we're going to try. And then you try and load up the PowerPoint and it doesn't work. Mm. And then you're like, you've been listening to some music before work starts and that pops up instead. And it's really embarrassing and all the children are laughing. And I think it's, it's how you react to these things. Things that really makes or breaks yeah. your relationship with them because if you're just like if like he was just like well I've just fallen over great first start everyone here I am boys and girls like they'll find it funny relatable yeah whereas if you handle it and you're kind of I'm so stressed I've just fallen over who's laughing at me why are you laughing at yeah, me yeah that would not go down very well mm. Yeah. So you just have to like lighten up with them. If you make a mistake, just try and laugh it off with them. Don't let them sort of smirk behind your back and say like, oh, I, know, I don't know, if you're wearing like the two mismatching shoes and the children's notice on that first day and they're like laughing at you, just laugh with them. Be like, oh, what, what am I like? I'm such a silly teacher. We're gonna have a great funny year together. I'm always like, making daft mistakes like this. And then just try and like calm it down a bit because everyone does daft things, especially when you're feeling nervous, you do like more daft things. I yeah, think. And I think my kids love that though. <laughs> I like, um, I always think as well my kids are always just so shocked when 
I'm kind of really like down to earth and silly. Yeah. So I think I always feel like my kids come in and you never know quite what they've heard about you. Maybe you've got a reputation in school or things. And then when they actually meet you and get yeah. to know you, they're like, wow, I didn't know you were going to be like this. Yeah, I've got um, children that have come into my class and they're like, you're the teacher that always eats dragon fruit. And I'm like, uh, oh, I suppose like I do because we live in Hong Kong. So I do eat quite a lot of dragon fruit, but I didn't know that that's what I thought that was just when you moved that I didn't realize <laughs> you were still doing that every day. For some reason, the year one's in the school, which will now be coming up to my year three class because it's been two years. They just know me for that. For some reason, they just like, they always say to me in the corridor, like, have you had a dragon fruit today? I think their old teacher told them I liked it. Yeah. So if you don't know what the children are going to come to you already knowing about you as well, or what they've heard about you. You. My kids come in and they just know. They're just like, we're gonna play Minecraft every day. <laughs> <laughs> they think that's your like role. Yeah. I'm like, no, it's not on the iPad. You can't access it without me telling you to. But they're probably like really excited as well. Yeah. So very, very quickly, just because I'm in this group and one more has come through, so I'll just squeeze it in really quickly. So um, this is from a YouTube channel called The Sleepy Teacher. I will link oh. her down below and she's just sent it in, but I will put it in for you just because it's popped up on my phone. So she said, um, I'm not sure if you still need it. <laughs> <laughs> I was teaching abroad in Costa Rica and got picked up by the school bus to meet uh, three of my 12 students before we started. It helped us to connect. The kids were more nervous than I was oh. and all I could think was I hope the bowl outside the window is chill? Where is there a bowl? Maybe it's like a glass farm. Is it on a farm? I learned how to improvise and make things work with little resources. I feel like we need to unpick that a lot with the sleepy teacher. What? Why is there a bowl outside your classroom? Is this common in Costa Rica? <laughs> yeah, um, chances are if you're teaching in the UK there won't yeah. be a bowl outside your classroom, but, but that's... Actually, that's probably the best point, that you forget that the kids are going to be so nervous about meeting their new teacher, going up to a new class, so... Yeah, if you're able to spend any time with the children before you uh, start teaching them, that's really effective as well. Build some early relationships. But if you haven't had that chance, don't worry, you'll have plenty of time when you first meet them. Okay. One extra thing that we thought we would mention with regard to your first day of teaching is we've been having a look on the website Twinkle at the moment. If you're not familiar with the website, we've left a link down below. Go and check it out because there are loads of really, really good first day of teaching activities available on there. Get a few printed out, get them in your file ready, print out the copies that you need, just in case you need a bit of a backup lesson, you need some extra resources. We've used them in the past and found them to be really, really effective. I'm gonna put a few little screenshots here now of different examples of things that you can use. Uh, and I think the best thing about the Twinkle resources is they don't take extra planning. You don't have to plan a million activities for that first day or that first week. You can just find lots of things really quickly and easily, things that you can just pass time with fill out a little half hour till dinner, that's fine in the first day, first week is fine. Yeah. And of course, don't forget to check out our first day of teaching video, which is right here, right now, up on the screen somewhere, and we will see you on the next video. Don't forget to leave comments below, give us your first day to uh, testimonials, we'd love to hear from you, and don't forget to subscribe. We are for teachers. Bye. Bye.